Consider the following, a can of soda that is carbonated with carbon dioxide, CO2. We want a, a can of soda that has a 0.1 molarity concentration of CO2 gas. This is a cutaway drawing of this soda can right here. The red circles are meant to represent carbon dioxide molecules, not bubbles, just molecules for your atomic vision. I do not have what I do not have molecules of H2O drawn in here just because it'd be too complicated. Note that there are CO2 molecules dissolved in the gas and in the headspace above the can above the water line. So in just that air pocket that's inside of every can, when it's closed, there's CO2 gas dissolved in there. What pressure does have to be in that headspace? So the concentration of the liquid is 0.1 molarity. That is our question here. Gases dissolved in liquids follow Hank's laws, meaning that it is a linear relationship between concentration and pressure. I don't like it when we have compounded units. Molarity is best used in the scaffold stretched out as moles divided by liters. So let's fix that. Now, it may look like I'm making this unit more complicated, but I'm making, by stretching out the units, it helps us envision the scaffold to make cancellations or cuts. Now, I said this was a Hank's Law problem, and we could use Hank's Law, but I don't need to use Hank's Law or look up the formula per se. I can watch my units and make sure that units cancel. I want my final answer in ATMs or pressures. And look at this. Hank's Law here for CO2 at 25 degrees Celsius. This number I had to Google or it's given into the question. This has ATM in it. So I'm going to put this in my scaffold with ATM in the numerator. And I want to make sure that I have my numbers and my units all tagged together right there. And this may take a moment to make sure you pause and make sure to convince yourself that I put this in here flipped. You need to do the same on your paper. Now I need to cancel out liters and moles because I want to keep ATM so low. And look at this. This can cancel out stuff here. Looking at my shopping list, it is a twofer. Boom, 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 boom. Two things tell me I am confident to pick up my calculator. I've used everything in my shopping list The unit that is surviving is the unit I'm looking for. I hope this helps. Thank you.